ponderal index in a fetus. It is calculated as weight in gram divided by height in centimeter cube multiplied by 100. Ponderal index is different in different types of IUGR. There is normal ponderal index in symmetrical IUGR and low ponderal index in asymmetrical IUGR. The normal ponderal index is 2 to 2.5. So ponderal index formula is given here in the cloud. And when the ponderal index is more than 2, it means symmetrical IUGR. When it is less than 2, it means asymmetrical IUGR. Let us talk about some other differences of symmetrical and asymmetrical IUGR. In symmetrical IUGR, the onset is early, that is less than 32 weeks of gestation. In asymmetrical IUGR, the onset is late, that is more than 32 weeks of gestation. The etiology of IUGR, like symmetrical IUGR, includes some factors which are intrinsic to the fetus, like genetic diseases <coughs> and infections. In asymmetrical IUGR, certain extrinsic factors are involved, like chronic placental insufficiency. In symmetrical IUGR, the total cell number is less and cell size is normal. In asymmetrical IUGR, the total cell number is normal and cell size is small. When we do ultrasound in IUGR, in symmetrical IUGR, all the parameters like head circumference, biparietal diameter, abdominal circumference and femur length are smaller than expected. All body parts are uniformly small. In asymmetrical IUGR, there is head sparing effect but the abdomen is small. The head of the baby is of normal size but the rest of the body parts are smaller. When we study the neonatal course of IUGR, in symmetrical IUGR, the neonate is complicated with a poor prognosis. In asymmetrical IUGR, usually the neonate is uncomplicated having good prognosis. And this point I have already discussed that the ponderal index which is calculated by dividing the weight in gram to the height in centimeter cube multiplied by 100 is normal in the symmetrical IUGR while it is low in asymmetrical IUGR. The normal ponderal index is 2 to 2.5. Now this table shows the list of causes of fetal growth restriction. First is that of the reduced growth potential. This condition happens in aneuploidies, for example, trisomy 18. Single gene defects, for example, sickle syndrome. Structural abnormalities, for example, renal agenesis. Intrauterine infections, for example, cytomegalovirus or toxoplasmosis. Another cause is reduced fetal growth support. Another cause, certain maternal factors causing fetal growth restriction. And those include undernutrition, for example, poverty or eating disorder. Maternal hypoxia, for example, living at altitude and cyanotic heart diseases. Certain drugs like alcohol, cigarette and cocaine. The last important cause is certain maternal factors. Those include reduced placental perfume, for example, inadequate trophoblastic invasion, sickle cell disease and multiple gestation. Reduced fetoplacental perfume, for example, single umbilical artery or the twin to twin transvein syndrome. Now this table shows the consensus based definitions for early and late fetal growth restriction in the absence of congenital anomalies according to RCOG 2024 guideline. Early uh, FGR means the gestational age is less than 32 weeks in the absence of congenital anomalies. In this condition, the ratio of abdominal circumference to the estimated fetal weight is less than third centile or umbilical artery shows the absent and diastolic flow or the ratio of abdominal circumference to estimated fetal weight is less than 10 centile combined with either first of all uterine artery pulsatility index of more than 95th centile and or uterine or um, the umbilical artery pulsatility index of more than 95th centile on the other hand, late FGR means the gestational age of more than 32 weeks in the absence of congenital anomalies. The ratio of abdominal circumference to the estimated fetal weight is less than third centile or we have at least two out of three of these criteria. First of all, the ratio of abdominal circumference to estimated fetal weight is less than 10 centile. Secondly, the ratio of abdominal circumference to estimated fetal weight crossing centile that is more than 2 quartile on the growth centile. And the last one is that 
the cerebroplacental ratio is less than fifth centile or uterine artery pulsatility index is more than 95th centile so thank you so much that was the uh, that was about pondral index and some other facts about fgr subscribe on offset guide allah hafiz